Bonjour, welcome to my vlog. This is Gia Ibrahim and today I will be answering 41 questions for you. So those questions were compiled based on a lot of questions that I get from fans, friends and even my family members. I hope you enjoy it and do feel free to leave your comments in the comment section below. So question number one is, one talent I will add to my many talents. Hmm, okay, that's a good one. One talent I will add would probably be uh, playing soccer. Yeah, I love soccer. I would love to be a professional footballer. Yeah. yeah. Question number two, what do I find myself doing a lot these days? I find myself sleeping a lot these days. Yeah, sleep. Question number three. One thing I cannot, I can never live without. That would be my family. I love my family. I love you guys. Question number four. What's my current obsession? That's a very good one. My current obsession would be TikTok and YouTube. <laughs> um, now, question number five. What's one hobby you never gave up? Hmm, that is awful. Hey, what's one hobby I'll never give up? I will never give up traveling. <laughs> Even though I have because of the virus. <laughs> That means I can actually give up my family. Hey, um, maybe the second hobby that I will risk giving up would be listening to music. That would be like a boring life. Like, the, so boring. I don't even want to think about it. Yeah. And the next question, which is question number six. One pet peeve that I have. I hate people that brag it gets to my skin stop bragging like once you start bragging about what you have what you can do what you what you've done like turn off off like that is it you won't even have my attention next time like i don't like people that brag i also don't like people that lie i don't like lies like lies that's two peppers. Question number seven. What's my favorite food? My favorite food will be all foods. <laughs> I can't eat anything. Well, except for snails. So question number eight. What's one movie I can watch over and over again? Now, that's a good question. Um, one movie I can watch over and over again would be Titanic. Yes. Yes. Wherever you are. Give it for me, girl. Yes. My crazy friend Jennifer is right here. Hello. Yeah. And look at Sonia. Say hi. <laughs> So, question number nine. What's my favorite dessert that I can't do without? I'll say... Hey! I have the word, Mama. No. I don't know. They're not here. They're not here. What she said. But don't hear. Don't don't see who So my my sister just said dick. Is is that is that a dessert? Jennifer, <laughs> my dingo dessert. <laughs> oh my god! 
people who are not well. Please stop distracting my video. Mm. Thank you. So my favorite dessert, my favorite dessert that I cannot do without would be chocolate. I love chocolate. Number question number ten. What's most What's the most expensive present I got for a birthday gift? Oh, interesting. I would say a Rolex watch. Yeah, Rolex. What's my favorite thing to cook? My favorite thing to cook would be spaghetti. Yeah, anything pasta, spaghetti, I think. Like is the easiest. Number twelve. What's my most used phrase? My most used phrase would be "What's up?" or "So." Yeah, I always say that. Like somebody says something like a long message or you know sentence, I'll just be like "So." <laughs> Chimo <laughs> is a Chimo is a word. <laughs> I say sub more than Chimo. No, it's not. Let us see. 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 So they said, my sisters are saying that vote like vocally like my my most used phrase is Chimo. And that's. Excellent. 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 Yes. Soft. Yes. What's up? <laughs> That's true. Yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you guys. You guys think you know me that way. <laughs> we'll definitely play another version where my sisters and I will sit down and we'll do a never have I ever um, you know quiz for you guys. So please leave your comments in the comment section and beg them to do it with me. Thank you. Question number thirteen. What was my favorite? My okay. What was my first job? What was my first job? Uh, my first job was a receptionist at the gym. Yeah, yeah. I was a receptionist. Yeah. Then question number fourteen. What scares me most? That's a very good one. So what scares me most is losing someone dear to me. That shit is scary. Very, very scary. I'm sure you all can relate to that. <laughs> um, number 15. What's my favorite curse word? Hey, hey! Okay, now. Yes, what's my favorite curse word, girls? Tell me. My favorite curse word. My favorite curse word. Are you... Are you mad? Huh? My favorite person is the one. Are you mad? Which one? Do you have sense? Yeah, very soft. I have plenty of girls, but this is my favorite. Now, which one? Are you okay? Are you okay? Yes. Tim, are you okay? Eh, uh, yes. Are you okay? 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 Are you okay, Eri? Eri, are you okay? What the guys have to do with your school? Are you okay, Eri? Eri, are you okay? Are you okay, Eri? Eri, are you okay? Are you okay, Eri? Are you okay, Eri? Are you okay, Eri? That's true. I said that a lot. You're like, simply telling me, I don't want to say, you're stupid, but I'll ask you, are you okay? So you are not going to say, Eri, I'm not okay, then you know, Eri, I'm okay. Simple. That's true though. But no, it's not an insult for me. It's an insult. Biggest whatever. What's number 16? What's my favorite holiday to celebrate? I like Christmas holiday a lot. Because that's when the whole family comes together. My mom will cook plenty food. Then I'll put on weight after. So that's my favorite holiday. Yeah. Number 17, what angers me the most? Lies. Lies. Being lied on or accused wrongly, falsely. And lies. Lies. Linus. Linus. To being lied on. Lies in general. 
fake lies and lying people. Lies. White color lies. Black color lies. Caramel lies. Meningo lies. All the lies. Number 18. Yes. The question number 18. My must have beauty products. Must have beauty products. I would say it's eyelashes. Yes. Because I gotta rock my eyelashes when I step out. Mm, that's why I created Shades by Julia Ibrahim eyelashes. Yes. The so question number 19 says Favorite movie of all time? My favorite movie of all time would be Along Came Polly. Yes, I love that movie. I've seen it like maybe over eight times already. Along Came Polly with Ben Stiller. I actually have two favorite movies of all time. The second one would be P.S. I Love You, um, starring Gerard Butler. Mm. Oh my goodness, that movie! Love is sweet! Oh my gosh! Love is sweet though! Yeah, the love is sweet <laughs> So, question number 20. What movie made me cry the hardest? What movie made me cry the hardest? I would say is the movie Passion of Christ. Passion of Christ really got to me. I, like I cried. I, I felt like I was living in those days. I was there. Like people can be so cruel and evil and mean. So Passion of Christ, yeah. Question number 21. One song I can dance to forever, like listen to forever. That song would be uh this song would be Sholala. Sholala. I could be a Sholala. Mm. You can watch the video on my YouTube channel, but I'll just Sholala. Baby, go down. Gonna make your mind go around. Shabby, you know, you my number on love, baby. So question number 22 If my life was a movie What title will it be? Ah, I like that If my life was a movie The title would be A Toast to Life Ta-da! I'm a genius yes. A Toast to Life So next question is number 23. What's the weirdest thing I've eaten? Hmm. You sure you wanna know? So the weirdest thing I've eaten would be crocodile. Jennifer. <laughs> it was actually very sweet. It was tasty. It was tasty. I so that would be the weirdest thing. I had it when I was in Abidjan, Ivory Coast. So I went for a nice dinner. It was on a date. And he was like, Have you ever tried crocodile? And I was trying to impress. And I'm like, Oh, I eat anything. He's like, Ah, you should try it. <laughs> Never again. They were tasty, but never again. Never again. Then question number 24. What's the most romantic thing a guy can do for a girl? What's the most romantic thing a guy can do for a girl? I think the most romantic thing a guy can do for a girl will be take all his valuables and like his pin codes his um you know like when he saves all his documents like his 
um, houses, um, the house papers and all of that and just give it to the girl like he's in love with and tell her baby this is all yours if you're mine. You know what I'm saying? Like that's like the most romantic thing you can do. Your car papers, everything that's in your name, your ATM cards, the pin code, everything. You just take it to the girl and then it's like Baby, Juliet, I'm in love with you and I want you to be mine. So if you're mine, all of these are yours. And she's like, oh, okay. Makes sense. When are you going to do the transfer um, from your name to my name? And then they, they just live happily ever after. Did that make sense? I think I did. But there's so many romantic things though that people can do, you know. I will speak for myself. But um, I'll say, just surprise me. I, lo I love surprises, so surprise me. Um, if I say something in passing, like pay attention, then surprise me with it. Yeah, those are romantic things that guys can do. A lot of guys don't pay attention, so start paying attention to your girls. When they are talking, don't think they're just nagging or whining. When they are talking, it's because they're trying to tell you indirectly what they like or what they want or what they wish for. So you pay attention and you get to do it for the girl. Like surprisingly, ah, trust me, she will rock your world. After. Yeah, brother, thank me later. Mm -hmm. Question number 25. Three things I always carry in my handbag when I travel. Now, it depends on where I'm going to. If I'm traveling overseas, one thing that has to be in my handbag will be Chito. Because the food they serve over there does not have pepper. The kind of pepper that I eat. So, make me feel alright. So, Chito must be in my bag when I'm going. Very small jar of Chito like this. Second thing would be um, a copy of my book. A toast to life, yeah, because you can never tell who's interested in getting a copy or who you can meet that would just take a picture with the book for you to endorse it. Then the third one would be condoms. Yay! How do you buy condom when you go to pharmacy? Then it's long. Now. Eh? It's long. You just mm -hmm. the Nigerian <laughs> products. You, 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 you don't announce. You don't know which one is. No, then when you go and do the search, they will not take the phone out in front of everybody at the airport. No, no, no. I don't take, I don't carry on them. Handbag, girls. That's embarrassing. In the handbag, because you can check. But you never know that they are at the airport. Maybe this is a surprise you. They keep and then you post it. Shop shopping. Not to go to watch shop shopping. You see the mindset of this human being that are carrying them. Can you imagine? Anyway, the last thing that I carry in my bag that I'll say is to have <sighs> what else I'm thinking. But those things are already there. Like you have your wallet in your, in your bag already. You have, uh, you know, other essentials. So I just need to think about one specific thing that I must have in my bag. I probably say it's a pen. Yeah, a pen. I always have to have a pen in my bag. So pen. What did you say? My allergy pills. Yeah, but those are for me. Like okay, yeah. Allergy pills, so yeah. So yeah, allergy pills. <laughs> oh yes, and my inhaler. Ventolin inhaler. Yeah. Well, go with it. Like I think I have more than three major things, right? I have more than three major things. That's why right, that I must go with. Yeah. So now we've blessed five. Me too. Apart from the condom, we've blessed five. Thank you for your input. <laughs> 
so fat. So, question number 26, guys. That would be three makeup must haves. I would say one would be a lip gloss for lipstick. Preferably red. Every girl needs to have a red lipstick or a lip gloss. Um, second must have will be a tweezer. You used to have it all the time, like anything comes up. And number three would be always have your fix powder. The one that can like a two-in-one so if you don't have foundation and you need to use um you know the powder it should be able to sit and fit properly on your face like a foundation but it's a powder i'm not going to mention brand names because they didn't pay me <laughs> but you know what i mean question number 27 if I wasn't an actress, what would I be doing with my life? <laughs> Good question. Um, I'll probably still be in the entertainment industry. Maybe I'll be like the next Beyonce of Africa. You know what I'm saying? The next Beyonce of Africa. Or I'll be twerking like Cardi B and you know out there or I'll be a lawyer or I'll be a translator I've always wanted to work as a translator because I am uh, bilingual or um, I feel like I'll do very well in law so I probably would have ended up somewhere there or musician like I said before yeah yeah, yeah. So question number question number twenty eight. Question number twenty eight. Three things on my bucket list. Ooh, I love this. Three things on my bucket list will be the very first one will be skydiving. Like I seriously have to skydive. Um, number two will be. Joining the Mile High Club. If you don't know what that means, let me break it down to you now. It means I have to do it on the plane. You know what I mean when I said do it on the plane? Like I have to on the plane whilst flying. So I have to join the club, the Mile High Club. Yeah. Number three will be my bucket list um, hmm. Hmm. very tough um, that would be um, having a threesome but the threesome is not with a girl a girl and a guy no I want two guys all to myself it's me joking <laughs> 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 Yes, I'm two guys all myself. I'm making you, I'm making you, madam. That is a bucket list, so so maybe when I'm in my fifties, I can get to do that. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. Why don't we people talk? <laughs> so question number twenty-nine. One person that makes me happy. One person that makes me happy is Jaden, my son. Yeah, I love you, Jaden. Question number 30. One thing about me that people don't know. One thing about me that people don't know is I don't smoke. No smokable thing in this world goes into this mouth. I do not smoke. Question number 31. What's my favorite Disney character? Ah! A whole new world! Ah! Princess Jasmine! <laughs> oh, she's so sexy! She's so cute! She's gorgeous! She has my skin! You know what I'm saying? Yes! So, 
that's what my sister Sonia is saying in the back right now. Because I love Jasmine so much, when Sonia had her daughter, I named her Jasmine. She's my princess Jasmine, you see? That goes to say that. I'm not lying. My baby Jasmine. Love you, girl. Number 32. What's the biggest surprise you've ever had? The biggest surprise I've ever had was on my birthday, my 33rd birthday, 3-3. Uh, so my friends and my sisters, they actually plotted and they brought me strippers. They brought me strippers. <laughs> you know, so what had happened is I was having breakfast we're in South Africa, uh, Pretoria to be precise, and then they, they sent uh, my PA to come calling that Sonia, my sister, was seriously sick in the hotel room. And I rushed there and I was rushing there. By the time I opened the door, I knocked on the door. Sonia, Sonia, are you okay? Are you okay? My PA was behind me recording. I didn't know. I soon I opened the door like, surprise! All of them were in the room waiting for me. I got into the room. I'm going to see that these people have already done set up. But Sonia is into all this event stuff, deco and things. She has decorated the room. <laughs> and can you imagine? Pixie Gift Castle. Decorated the, the, the room, everything. I was surprised, and it said you have to force for the sit on the chair. I sat on the chair to see these three handsome, fine arms. Oh my gosh! Take me back to SA, people, please. This was a part of the plan. See them? They are there. They are part of the plan. <laughs> so nice. She's hiding. She's hiding. She's hiding. She's hiding. That's so <laughs> nice. <laughs> it was nice. So next thing I know is that magic Mike was doing his thing. <laughs> but I have fun. I've always wanted to like go for a magic mic show and I love strippers by the way. Mm. You mm. always find me in a strip club. Yeah, yeah. Me and mom bitches. <laughs> we always be in a strip club. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that was like mm, one of the best surprises I've ever had. Now you know. If you want to surprise me next time, do it right. Thank you. So, question number 33. Describe myself in three words. Um, I'm very hardworking. Um, I am loyal. And number three would be, I am friendly. Yes. Number 34. What's my favorite beverage? My favorite beverage would be water. I think I drink water a lot. Oh yeah, and green tea. Jennifer, you're right. I love green tea as well. So tea and water. Question number 35. What will I order at a drive-thru? Burgers! Yeah, baby. Yeah, burgers. Yeah. Question number 36. What's my favorite TV show of all time? My favorite TV show of all time would be Prison Break. Yeah. Yeah, it's in Prison Break here. Um, number 37. If I had a superpower, what would it be? If I had a superpower, um, it would be that I'm able to bring people back to life. That would be the good, like only good people, though. Bad people will not bring you back to life. But good people, people that don't deserve to, to leave us, I'll bring them back to life. I think that would be my superpower. Um, Question number 38. If I could raid one woman's closet, who would it be? I would definitely raid the closet of Kim Kardashian. Like, there's no two ways about that. Kim Kardashian closet. Kim, I will be visiting you. I will be in your closet, girl. Same body shape. Except that mine is natural, but it's fine. Know what I'm saying? Your clothes can fit me. Mm -hmm. Question number 39. 
What's your best sex position? Hey! Positions of the positions. Who asked this question? I'm sure it's Jennifer that put this question here. Mm. What's your best sex position? <laughs> I have to write it, give it. Do I have to answer it? Yes. I can answer for you. What's your best sex position? Doggy. How did you know I like doggy? I mean, I you, but you know. Oh gosh! <laughs> but you see, eh, with all this overload of current lights and stuff, see the loads, see the load, load of the lights up. Oh lot of lights and talking. <laughs> I think it's actually a very nice view when you feel <laughs> the back. <laughs> and number question number forty. We're almost at the end of the questions. 41 questions, remember that. Number 40, if you had the chance to change one thing in your past, what would it be? Nothing. Nada. Rien. Je change rien. Rien. Nada. Nothing. I won't change a thing. Question number 41 What's my best fast food? So, my best fast food will be pizza. Okay. Stop promoting your brands yet, your pizza <laughs> will be pizza. Hey. Alright, guys, I've had so much fun answering 41 questions for you, and I hope you also had fun and you got to know me a little bit more. Um, leave your comments below. Um, if you have other questions you would like me to answer in one of my other upcoming videos, uh, feel free to drop your questions below and um, leave your comments as well. Till next time, I'm going to see you guys. Let me fix my bullshit. Till next time, I'm going to see you guys later. later. Know what I'm saying? Make sure you stay safe. And subscribe. Wash your hands. Subscribe to my channel, Julia Ibrahim TV, baby. This is Juliet Ibrahim signing out. Peace out, my niggas. Bye bye. Yeah. Say peace out, again. Peace out, my niggas. Yeah.